Hello, this is Simon Roth, the developer of Maya. This is Alpha 0.39, and as you can see, we now have a menu. Not much there yet, but it's uh, getting there. So we'll launch the game. First thing you'll notice is the tutorial. There we go. Gives you a very brief overview of how to play the game. Gives you some instructions, gives you the controls. As you can see, we've added a mouse middle button if you want to rotate the camera and space flicks through your colonists, which makes it very easy to uh, track what everyone's doing. So we'll uh, get rid of that in a second, once we play that bit. Right, so we need to get started building. So we'll start with a workshop, so we can build some atmosphere generators and get some air. So we'll place a door on that. You don't need a workshop to build a door anymore, so you don't have to cheat. So this is just telling us how to build rooms, which we've already kind of figured out, but if you know, you can uh, remove rooms now by holding control in the room building mode and clicking, and that will delete any rooms that you've built. So we'll place a workshop table, and some atmosphere generators, which will do for our current need. needs. But as you can see, he's already built the door, and it's not going to build the workshop table. This is just telling us how to build items, which we already know. But as usual, it's B and V to rotate through items, and um, you can now remove items by going into interaction mode and right clicking them. And that will set a disassembly order, and your colonists will go and uh, disassemble that object. You can actually set it on any object, um, even colonists, um, but don't do that because that's quite demoralizing for them, and one of them might just follow through on it. Yeah, there's a quick guide of how to play the game. As you can see, we're now digging out a new area, so we can build a uh, livestock containment for chickens. The colonists are getting on with building stuff. It's our atmosphere generator, which will be ready shortly. And we forgot to build power, so we're going to go outside and build some wind turbines. A couple wind turbines will do for a small colony when you're, when you're getting going in some... Uh, Solar arrays too. It's good to have a mix because obviously wind and sun are not uh, guaranteed. As you can see, what this colonist here is um, already doing some maintenance on one of the doors. Things with moving parts generally break down a lot quicker than um, other objects. Colonists have a, a weighted system so they can actually um, figure out what they need to do so they won't waste time on objects that are not um, emergencies, as it were, but also that they'll act selfishly, so they'll, they'll, they'll do things that benefit themselves rather than the uh, overall colony sometimes, or they may not, want, you know, that there's lots of interplaying factors. So we're just placing this um, radiation containment room, so we'll get some uh, supercapacitors in there to regulate our power grid when it comes online. A couple of these will do for now. To build stuff currently, you don't actually need to use any resources up. Um, that's just due to it being the alpha. Um, but now that the AI is sophisticated enough to make all these different decisions and build complex um, actions where they have to do, you know, s several sub actions to complete a task, that, that that will be turned on pretty soon. So we're placing some lights outside. This is because the wind turbines will need a lot of repair because they're moving parts and they're external, so they're they're likely to be destroyed by the wind and stuff. Um, having a lot of light actually makes it easier for the colonists to repair the objects and will give them a higher integrity so you'll spend less time repairing them. So we've got that area dug out but we don't really have enough to place hydroponics groups so we're going to dig out a um, little more. And we'll uh, place a little hole here so we can place a door going through. It's important to have um, good good paths through your base for your colonists because they do take a long time to walk around, especially if they're in suits. Um, so you need to plan your layout so they don't spend a lot of time walking the longest way around. Oh, 
Right, while we're doing this, we'll have a look around. So the rain is uh, being captured by the solar stills, which have just been built. As you can see, it takes a long time to generate potable water. Um, it, it's, it's based on the sunlight and heat energy that the uh, solar stills are collecting. So you need to wait uh, several days before you, you even get one barrel of water, so you need to consider that. Um, because if that gets your needs. As you can see, the, the wind turbines aren't getting much power because we don't have much wind. The colonists are walking around in suits um, because of the low atmosphere, because they don't trust the power generation to stay up long enough to generate um, good atmosphere, so they're keeping their suits on in case you lose power again. So we've got that nice and dug out. We'll place our hydroponics room. It's now stuck in there. So we'll place a door. Oh, and there's a dog in there as well. I know what he's doing. The dogs currently lack any uh, proper AI. They're, they're, they just wander around and look at things that interest them. Um, as you can see, the rooms are contact sensitive, so if you mouse over a room now, um, it gives you all the objects that you can build in that room. Um, but when you mouse out, it actually remembers what you were building in that room, rather than before you used to lose what you were doing. Which was frustrating, um, but that's another fix. And we can't build that there because the imp has not picked up that pile of minerals. So now the colonists are building the uh, supercapacitors. We should be able to regulate our grid a little better and have less blackouts. Yeah, those wind turbines aren't really doing very well. So we're going to maybe destroy one of them. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of it. So that's been given a disassemble order, so now someone will go outside and take it to pieces. And when you disassemble stuff, you'll, you'll get the raw, raw resources back from having done it, but it, it costs you time and effort, so um, you, know, you don't want to be building lots of stuff and then disassembling it. Obviously, I, I just cancelled a build order here. Um, if, if the object has not been built, then you can just cancel it immediately. Although you need to be careful, because sometimes if Conus has been building something, and they've got it built already, and then you cancel it, um, they may just plonk it down anyway. So then now they've built these hydroponic fruit trees, you can see that they're um, actually growing in real time. Much like the foliage outside, the foliage is simulated based on the light and the water that they get. Um, and you can sit watching them grow. It's a bit sped up here. Um, I, I, I will actually be turning that down in later games. Um, just, I just wanted to show it off. <laughs> Those fruit trees can actually, if, if they, uh, if they, if they're near any soil which is uh, usable, they can actually end up growing uh, new, new trees. Just in soil. So here we've got a message that's just popped up. These messages, these progress reports, are, are fully procedural. Um, there's millions of combinations of things that they might say, um, and they tell you about the colony. They tell you about the feelings and what they need. Sometimes it's quite blatant. They'll tell you that they need an item, a workshop table for example, uh, or you know more supercapacitors, or you know more air, um, but sometimes they'll make more complex kind of value judgments on things and uh, as you can see the smoke's rising straight up here um, so there's not much wind and our wind turbines are useless and we're rapidly losing power. So we need to start thinking about having more power outside so I think some solar panels would probably be more useful, because at least we're guaranteed some light, even if it is raining. So yeah, as you can see they've collected a lot of water, but still it t takes quite a while for them to actually fill up with potable water, which means drinkable water, that's what you want. See what our colonists are doing? They're all drinking water, so... You've got plenty of water, you've, you've got a good few weeks of water um, because you don't currently need to add water to the hydroponics room or feed the chickens. Talking of which, we should uh, put a livestock containment for them so they can get breeding. Currently, um, I've disabled the chicken explosion problems. Um, so you can only have about 2,000 chickens on screen at any point in time. 
uh, which will save you from the uh, blue screen errors that we were getting in the other kind of million chickens on screen errors. Right, so the base is now roughly ticking over okay. Um, nothing's getting too damaged. Because there's no wind outside, the wind turbines don't actually need that much maintenance. In a very windy game, you might end up spending a lot of time fixing them. And then you end up in a, in a cycle where you can't keep them running long enough um, to make it worthwhile having them. So we've got another message popped up. Didn't see it. So they're saying that it's a bit damp in here, um, which is pointing out that there's a problem with the atmosphere. Um, and as you can see, the atmosphere generator has broken down. Um, so you, you'll need to either build more atmosphere generators or give your colonists less to do. De delete some objects so they don't keep repairing stuff they don't need to be working on. So now that door's in place, I think a chicken can get through there over the minerals, but it's not a door just in case. I think there's, yeah, the chicken's outside, but as you can see, he's now starting to make a, a beeline for the livestock containment room. I'll have a look outside, just in case there's another block. We can start building another bit of the base. Not really. We'll keep building inside, I think. One of the other things that are in 0.39 are the um, bulkhead doors, which are useful because they are not part of a room, they're very strong, and they'll block water, lava, and uh, air. You can lock them. They're a good way to section off pieces of your base against incursions. And we've lost power again, which is problematic. So yeah, there's absolutely no wind and obviously no light because it's the middle of the night. It started to snow. Power starts to come out. There's several states of power. Um, kind of blackout and brownouts. Brownouts can actually damage objects in your base, so you don't want to keep having lots of brownouts. There's this kind of flickering that you're getting of lights trying to come on. Every time a light turns on and off, like in real life, it damages it a bit um, because of the expansion um, of it heating up and cooling down again. So it's much better to keep your power on the whole time and doors and lights and things will suffer less damage. And obviously if you don't have light, the fruit trees won't grow um, and there won't be any fruit to pick. And I think he's just come here to pick the fruit and then realised there isn't any. So he's going to wander off again. I don't know what he's doing, actually. He's... Now that the AI makes decisions on its own, it's sometimes difficult to figure out what they're doing, but at the same time, they, they're much more alive because they make their own decisions. Right, so we'll, we'll build some beds because we haven't actually given them anywhere to rest yet. Currently they can't die of fatigue, but that is coming in the later build. It's actually ready to turn on, but uh, it's hard to balance these things, so it's disabled at the moment. So some couches to rest on and some beds. Seems like super capacitor wasn't going to get built, so I've just deleted it. Yep, our chickens are breeding. We've got air, we've got atmosphere, we've got food, water. Oh, and we've got a storm coming in, so everything outside is going to get trashed again. Let's have a look. Uh, doesn't seem very dramatic, to be honest. So yeah, this is Alpha 0.39. As you can see, it's not crashing the whole time, and everything's working. And there's much more to check out. There's things like the research which has gone in, um, lots of objects to build, lots of interactions. So check it out. Download the latest build. I will be continuing to work on this over the new year and we should have 0.4 sometime in early January. 
for video check it out. See you later.